welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with more or less play Secret of Mana. I am joined as always by Jake, Yancey, and Shion. When we last left off, we were in the Lofty Mountains. Let's continue exploring around a little bit here. We did not go up here, and there are more people to talk to up here. Of course, there's a lot to do up here, as we will soon see. The Sage Jock lives high atop the mountain. Of course he does. Hey, stop running, bald guy. This, oh, dates from the Mana Fortress War. The war, the orbs inside store data from that period. The ancients called them, um, videos, I think. Something very similar to that. Videos, apparently. We shall see. We shall see. There's a girl that always brings flowers, apparently. Have I come to meditate? No. No, I've come to kick ass and take names, and I'm all out of names. What's up? How you doing? Don't bug- <laughs> You were walking into a wall, is that how you think? Okay, sure. What's up, dude? Um, the what is What is with these people just walking around, pretending to meditate? And now we're inside the temple, as you can see, by the no change in music. There aren't any monsters here, but there's nothing else. Oh, there's a door over there. But there are orbs up here first that we want to look at. Well, I want to look at. What? Ziga, what? This one's broken. Well, that was useful. What, what are these? Whoa, it exploded! Sorry about that! We must restrict the use of mana energy! What other nonsense! We're using it up! Ah, you can't use up mana! Ah, you don't understand! Huh. So I'm not sure if there is any video, but if there is any video in these orbs, they are not showing it to us! There, you can see the mana beast. Just moments ago, it hit the fortress. It's coming this way. We're going off the. So apparently, there's something called a mana beast that was hitting the fortress. I think they went over that in the intro, but we st we still don't know what one looks like. They definitely haven't gone over that. So who knows? Oh my! Oh, it was a song. I'm not singing for you guys. But to think this is all that's left of what happened before the world was destroyed. Doesn't seem like very much. What do we got in this one? Evening news. At dawn, Lorma launched missiles at the Empire, which had threatened to take Lorma's capital by nightfall. War. War always never changes. We have to say, who was Abe Lincoln? Correct! That makes you our new champion! You guys don't know how Jeopardy is played. You, you, you don't know. That's not how Final Jeopardy works. You guys aren't up to par on that. So there's no door on this side. I just wanted to double check that. Let's try to go a little bit faster. Not that it helps that much. And we can go up here. And our weapons are out. So maybe we'll fight something in, in here? No? can't even slice up the statues. What good is my axe then? Hey, what's up, dude? Says Jock will not see you unless you show him you will, your will to overcome yourself. Don't know what that means. Maybe if I find out, you know, they'll, they'll let me know. Or it could just be something, one of those cryptic things that, that sages typically say, and then you're like, well done, you defeated the monster, you overcame yourself. Like, no, I just kicked the monster's ass. Sure, whatever, you'll, at least you'll tell me what's going on now. It's usually how this kind of stuff works. Let's just head back to town. That is now all that we can do. That was a jack I believe at the top there, wasn't it? But he said that uh, Jock wouldn't see us and unless, well, we proved ourselves and overcame ourselves. And in order to do that, we need to leave town again, and we need to kill all these enemies. Now, I think uh, I have mentioned before uh, that the way that I have always been told how to progress through this game, and um, even the way that I intentionally thought about going through this game to start... Ah, oh, crap. Now how do I level 
Oh, up, is uh, as soon as you start getting weapon levels to start charging up uh, the weapon levels uh, from for all enemies, uh, not just bosses like I, I had tried to show off uh, to, to begin. Oh, great, just put me to sleep, why don't you? Ah, you missed, because you suck, because you're a flower. Uh, they say they always say to charge uh, your weapons uh, as soon as you get their levels. I have found uh, definitely in this run that that is not the way that I want to do it. Um, I need to switch over here. Yeah, let's see, let's see what we can do. Uh, can we level that up anymore? Okay, so I don't believe she needs to. He, she. Yancey needs to level up the cleaver anymore, so let's switch over to the Fork of Hope, because that's totally something that a fork would have. Um, like I said, oh shit, we got a new monster here, a Fierce Head. Like I said, uh, the way that I had been told was to level up, uh, oh, and it's a spawner, of course it is. Is that a Gloom Bat? Grave Bat. I think it's a great bat here. Uh, is to charge up weapons, you know, now. Uh, however, as I have played this time, and even a, a little bit last time, I found that it was a lot easier to just use the basic attacks um, and then just level up properly, uh, you know, and equip properly and all that kind of stuff. Let's go through the left side first. Uh, I, I found that that does uh, damage a lot faster. We got ninjas! More ninjas. I found that does uh, damage a lot faster than... Um, damn it! <laughs> then trying to charge up and then missing... Um, you can say that the enemies in this game do have evade. There is there is some truth to that. Uh, you can miss in this game uh, due to the enemies uh, evading your attack. However, most of the time it's just because they're in their little phase when you can't hit them. Um, there, there are definitely, as I have mentioned before, certain sprite, um, well, certain phases of their little animations that they get into where they just can't be hit. Uh, for instance, he can't be hit while he's, you know, already hit. And let's just head up here. And we can continue going. And we can chop this down because I brought my axe with me. Nope. Hit them and the thing in front of you. Damn it, Jake. Why? Why can't you do what I want without me doing it for you? Uh, is there something down here? There is. Very nice. Leads us back out, uh, back down the way that we were before, but now in a slightly different area, which means it's better because it's different. That's just the way that that works. Now let's head down here, and we pretty much go back to the front where we can find a switch. Let's go ahead and push it, and that does open up a new way for us. Sure, wall yourself off. I'm just going to smack you as soon as you're done, and down you go nonetheless. All right, what do we got? Let's head in here. Let's see where else we can go. Yeah, as you saw there, I evade his attack. Um, this is one of the few games that I can think of. Um, in fact, off the top of my head, it's the only game that I can think of where uh, the enemies can't always be hit. Some enemies, right? Not all the enemies, but some of them, like that guy, he can't be hit multiple times in a row. Um, ooh, treasure chest. That should prove useful. Uh, they can't be hit multiple times in a row. Um, they have, you know, more or less invincibility frames. Uh, that is very, very prevalent in most platformers. Uh, however, you, as a character, you do not have invincibility frames, as I grab a thousand GP. And there are very few games that I can think of that, that do that similar, something similar to that, where they have invincibility frames, but I do not. It's an interesting concept, not one that I, I think I necessarily like, uh, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Okay, back up top. And now we are on the other side. And we do have a few new paths that we can go through this way, including taking on that guy, should we desire, but I do not. Nothing more down here, unfortunately, so let's just head down uh, the bottom path here. That should lead us 
No way! I thought that led somewhere for some reason. I was wrong. Alright, we went down that path, so let's just go up through here. And now we're on the other path that I was trying to go through before, and somehow that ninja turned into an imp over on our right. Don't know how that happened. That is quite a good ninja skill that you've got going for you. Back into the cave we go. Do not believe that there was anything more on the other side. Um, but now I'm questioning that. Hold on. While there really isn't anything over there, I did get a little bit ahead of myself, unfortunately, and I forgot to go through the door that we had opened up. So we need to do a little bit of backtracking here, unfortunately. We're not going to try to kill everything along our way, because that's just... Well, I just take too long. What the hell were you throwing your javelin at, Yancey? So we're just pretty much going to knock enemies down so I can get past them. But I need my other party members to get past them too. That would be appreciated. Yancey, that was a corner. You shouldn't be caught on corners. No, we are not killing anything. We're just going forward. Now, and I don't believe you actually need to kill things in order to get the weapon experience from them but uh, it very well could be. Uh, what we need to do is head up and around and over here to this door, which is what we had opened up before. Step on that switch. And I don't know if you can see it, but a little stalagmite has raised there. Now we can go back the way that I was going before. I know it's a little bit of a journey, but I don't want anybody getting lost, and I forgot to do it. So... That's, that's mostly my fault. I say mostly, but then again, I felt like the game was leading me that way. I was completely wrong, though. Just plain wrong. No, you got... Thank you for killing it, but I really just wanted to move forward. Damn. Fine, just smack it. Probably one or two more hits and that should die. Whatever. Move, move, move. Up. Over here. Thank you. Now down before you guys get hit. Thank you. Uh, you're a dick. You know that? Damn, that did a lot of damage. Okay, we're still moving on. I wasn't even on the same screen as the guy that casted that anymore. I think it was the giant floating head, which I've already forgotten the name of. Let's just head the way that I was going before. Yeah, if you're just going to cast magic, I'm just going to run past you. I have no problem avoiding you. Now we need to head up here because you can't actually cast... Uh, well, it's obviously uh, another whip post, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, you can't do it from below. You need to head up here in order to do it. Um, yes, we need to do that. And now we have opened that up. Which means we need to backtrack yet again. I'm not joking. And that didn't look like it hit it at all. What's up here, by the way? Nothing. That's what's up there. Yeah, a lot of backtracking in this place. Not a big fan of this place. Do not like it. And of course, a uh, place like this. <laughs> it's bound to have a troll boss, isn't it? It's, it's just bound to. Then again, most of the bosses are trolled in this one. In this game, because they can... Uh, well, they can just pretty much say, You can't hit me right now. I am in my boss mode. Up and over. Why is this hard for you guys to figure out when there's an enemy? Seriously, we're, we're going. We're not stopping for these guys.